Hey guys, Dio and Mars back at the mat, and today we are opening the MetaZoo 2022 Valentine's Day promos. They come in these precious little heart-shaped boxes that you would normally get chocolates in, but each one of these instead will have four one-card promo packs. It's a 12-card set featuring chibi beasties. So we have eight boxes here. 32 cards total. Uh, just as a quick disclaimer, we'll probably only open as many as we need to to complete the set. I would think 32 would be enough, but I guess we'll find out. But, you know, if we end up getting, like, 15 of the same card, that's an over-exaggeration. If we end up getting, like, 7 of the same card and we're only missing one, then I'll probably go on TCG Player and just get that last one instead of keep tearing into boxes. You see what I'm getting at. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to keep so wasting time if it gets to a point where we're only missing like one card, or even two in, in the set, and we have seven duplicates of other cards. But hopefully, we'll get a nice, we'll have a nice round experience. We'll get a couple of each card. There are four holographic cards and eight non-hollow. God, I love the packaging. It is really nice. Everything MetaZoo, when it comes to the packaging, that's holographic, is just incredible. There's actually not much that's not holographic. I guess if we compare it to like this pin box that we just opened up, but the stuff that has holographic foiling on it is so nice. Okay, I'm already struggling to get it open. <laughs> Like, there's nothing to, like, grab at, and I can't really get my... There we go. There's the inside. We got some... I love it. Some heart packs. And they package them like a heart. And once again, we'll be using the scissors, because they are one-card packs, and this is the the way that you are least likely to damage them, even though... He's gonna cut a card. Medzi packs do open very smoothly. For the most part. And our first promo of the day is... Yes! Chibi Parade. Number 4 of 12. Full holographic. Absolutely precious. You got Chibi Loveland Frogman leading the parade there, followed by Chibi Piazza Bird, Chibi Bunny Man, Chibi Momo, and Chibi Grim Reaper in the back having a grand old time. A spoiler of things to come. There's five beasties on this one card. I am so happy. Uh, we didn't discuss how we were going to do this beforehand. But no. I, I think it would make sense to just like do one whole box at a time. Go number two. The suspense. Oh. You really want the suspense? Chibi Swank. My boy. Yeah, I dropped it on purpose to build up suspense. One hundred percent. My husband is extra. I'm a performer. He be that way. From my acting and producing days. We're gonna we're gonna run out of space here probably pretty quickly. Yeah, I'll just cut. but I wanted to. There we go. Wanted to showcase the incredible heart shaped packages. Number three. Chibi unicorn. I forgot that was a unicorn. Show that one to your mother. She'll love it. <laughs> Show it to your mother. You specifically watching this. Unless you don't have a mom, in which case, I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I'm your mom now. Show this to your significant other. What if you don't have one? Show this to your friend. sister or brother. Show this to your best friend. Show that to somebody. And they'll be like, wow, that's really cute. That's not what I would have anticipated. 
I mean, this whole set is going to be like that. I even specifically laid out this uh, first edition playmat because it's Squonk at the kissing booth. Very it's like thematic. A, it's a day at the fair. That's the question of the day. Would you kiss the Squonk? Let us know. Dio, would you kiss the Squonk? That'd be so precious. Oh, are those roses? Yes, because the rose bush is like his his thing. A little Enfield monster. And that is our first box. I am in love. Four brand new cards. That's already four out of twelve because they were all different. So that's nice. Including the Chibi Parade holographic. You'll have to see it. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get the packaging off. Uh, that's that's what I do. <laughs> off screen, so, so we don't sit here all day. Just to speed up the process. Oh, the frog man! My boy! Let's get a nice close up on that. I was telling the husband this is the one I wanted so badly. Look at him. That is number two out of twelve, illustrated by Jet Yates. I love him. Beautiful holographic. Here, he deserves this. He needs to go in it immediately. You know, when I go to uh, Collecticon in Charlotte to work the, the MetaZoo booth, if Jet is there, I will ask her to maybe sign one of those for you. Really? I love you. Oh. Another unicorn? Yeah, I'll just kind of... Yeah, spoiler alert, I will be working at the MetaZoo booth in Charlotte at Collecticon June 4th and 5th, I believe. I didn't even know that. And another chippy parade. Yeah. That's a nice hollow. A nice hollow sprint. Oh, sorry. I personally offended my husband. There we go. Yeah. That's three hollows already. He's beautiful. Should be Grim Reaper. Look at him. Look at how he shines for you. Two out of twelve, illustrated by Afton. And again, again we get the the theme of the rose bushes here. He's regal. He's beauty. He's grace. It's, it's probably the same bush. Is that Mr. If Onfield? We, if we put these two cards together, he's probably like chilling in the bush. Just that's out what of sight here. That's what he's. That's what he's. He is petting. I can't speak. Apparently, that is what he is petting, secretly. Uh, you know, toss me the scissors at high velocity. Yes, sir. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Edit it to make it look like it flew in and I caught it. Like one like of those on the, the clip art. Remember the office when they throw when he says, "Throw me the scissors," and he catches him like this. <laughs> Michael Scarn. Do some top notch editing, except I definitely won't. I'll have to remind him. Okay, JB Parade number three. We we're on our third box only, and we already have six out of twelve illustrations with a few repeats. But it's repeats of the good ones. You know, I do not mind at all having a few chibi parades. Especially with the uh, the chibi playground card in Wilderness. I, I don't know, I think you could do some interesting things competitively with the chibi cards. I'm looking forward to seeing the first time somebody attempts to, to do so in a tournament environment. 
Another chibi loving frog man. I feel so bad I didn't put him in a sleep. He's being ostracized. I think these these cards all deserve to be loved and preserved. Why can we get forever and ever and ever? Come on, get in the sleeve. There. Is that bad? Next up, Chibi Growth. It was 12 out of 12. So we are now up to 7 out of 12. It's interesting to see this, like, not holographic, because Growth, of course, was an obnoxious 9 card mm -hmm. in the base set. It only came in full hollow. So that's kind of neat. It looks like a. It kind of reminds me of St. Patrick's Day more than Valentine's Day. It's like it looks like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, like or almost, yeah. almost like a shamrock. Heck, fam, you right. And lastly, for this box, Chibi Bunny Man. Number one out of twelve, illustrated by Poncho. So that is all four of the holographics in this set, pulled. Bunny Man, Frog Man, Grim Reaper, and Chippy Parade. Beautiful illustrations. Are you happy? I am content. I I would like to point out. Give me a second to get the sleeve on him. Get in the sleeve. This attack. Axe murder. No. I don't know. Would you would you be afraid if you saw this little little bunny in the night? I was. Is it blood or poppies that are around him? I can't tell. I'm an axe murderer. That is not a confession. It cannot be held held against me in court. Do you plead the fifth now? After saying this, I'm gonna put a disclaimer. In the, I am not a murderer. In the video that says like everything said, that, you know how like at the beginning of a comedy special or something, you're like everything said in in this special is written for the the purposes of comedy and not based on real events. Even though they're always like this happened to me, and then there's a disclaimer that says like this didn't actually happen. That one dude who's like I used to be in a gang. And, like, you know their true stories, and they're just covering their butts. That is our you... third Chibi Unicorn. What are we missing? Chibi Piazza Bird, I know. Uh, is there Mothman and in this one? there's three more. No, because no. cause there was a Chibi Mothman in the base set. Okay. I cannot... And also a, a Chibi Ketsa Quadalus. Okay. And there's a Chibi Bigfoot in Wilderness. And probably a couple of this. Ooh, another bunny man. He's an axe murderer. It should be Momo, I think. Oh, yeah. Piazza Bird, Momo. A couple others. I tried not to look at them too much, because I... I like a spoiler-free experience. The third love with Frogman, very nice. My literal full-time job, though, is to moderate MetaZoo's Discord server and social media pages, so I kind of can't avoid... All of them. The, the, ...when people post their polls. Chibi Parade. We have more hollows than non hollows, I can now confirm. <laughs> that's that's interesting. Good pull rates. Yeah. He made a mess. Yeah, what you didn't see is me opening the box and every single pack just spilling out of it. I just cleaned this home. Right, 
give me a piazza bird. It's another frog. <laughs> you said bird. I'll give you the opposite end of the spectrum. You wanted air? I give you water. Get me my sleep. I really like Piazza Bird. I know you do. And the Grim Reaper. We're getting more hollows. Which I feel like it should be the other way. It's definitely strange, but I'm also not in any position to complain. We've had some good booster boxes. Mm -hmm. I think we've only ever had one booster box that had more reverse hollows than full hollows. In most of our booster box openings, we ended up getting like 20 full hollows out of 36 packs. But maybe we're just lucky. Chibi Momo. She's so cute. That is 8 out of 12. So we're getting there. We need three more. There we go. These eight. That makes nine. Do you want me to open another one? You got it. And Chippy Piazza Bird. That's my boy. I love him. It's a great illustration. He looks like the equivalent of No Talk Me Angie. Nine out of twelve by Jay Yates. I like Piazza Bird. I was opening a Cryptonation 2nd Edition pack the other day, and it was a Piazza Bird pack art. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? I would like some more, uh, you know, base set Piazza Birds. And it just so happens the rare in that pack was a full holographic. Piazza Bird. Just a great example of ask and you shall receive. Okay, but don't do it again because that's all you'll get. Yeah, apparently. I am notorious for my monkey paw wishes. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that, though. I'm not mad about it. Piazza Bird repeat. He's okay with this one. Not the, like the 17 Amica. <laughs> We've done more than one video in the past where I was like, I would like to get one of these things, and then it was half, the, half the box was that one thing. Mama. Here you go. What are the two we're missing? A second squonk, nice. So the only one out of these ten that we don't have a repeat of is Enfield Monster. I bet you that because you said that now, that's what I'm pulling. Probably. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to be observant. And a piazza bird. Oh, the whole time I was sitting here, I could have been opening. Did you Another want box. to, or did you want to leave some seal? Yeah, we'll do one more. Okay. I have, like, Here. two more that I didn't even bring. That's what I've been doing, it's a little nick. Yeah, I'll, I'll have two or three of these sealed. I thought we only got eight. I... I think most of them... I think I must have gotten some staff product, because oh. I got... I got more than I ordered sent to me. Okay, that so makes I'm sense. Thinking, I'm, I'm thinking one of them must have been a gift from uh, Mr. Michael Waddell. He's so generous. Extremely generous, man. Great boss. Legitimately, like... Schizor. Ooh. What's it gonna be? Shabby Parade. 
And we got four of those. It's kind of. We're up to five now. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> Something. I mean, it's arguably the best. The, yeah, it's arguably the nicest in the set. Okay, but still, on field is the only boy without a baby to match it. Well, there are two that we just straight up don't have, and I'm not even sure which ones they are. I don't know either. I try to stay in the dark as much as I can for you, too. Should we love one frog, man? Okay, five of him, too. So we keep getting these boxes with all, that are stacked with all these hollows. Well, by the time that I'm editing this, I'll put up on screen the ones that we didn't pull, so you can see the entire set. Chibi Grim Reaper. That makes three. Is this going to be a, uh, I guess you would call it a god box? So we got Grim, Chibi Parade, Frogman. That's three out of the four hollows in the same box. And then, like, Bunny Man. So if you're doing the math here, there's only one pack left, and we're still missing two cards from the set. Building up suspense. It's on purpose. I'm not incompetent. Yeah, and it should be funny, man. So it was a god box. And it was all four hollows I called from the it. set. In one box. I'm not sure what we're missing. At this point, we will have to look it up. The four hollows are one through four. This is five. Enfield Monster. Do we have six? I think six and seven are what we're missing. Because then Momo is eight. Piazza Bird's nine. Squonk is ten. Unicorn is eleven. And Grove is twelve. So yeah, I'll look that up. Put it up on screen. But all in all, pretty sweet. I cannot complain about these pulls. Five... Chibi Parades, right? One, two, three, four, five. Three G Chibi Grim Reapers. Five Chibi Loveland Frogmans. Everyone loves this illustration. He's my baby. Three Chibi Bunny Man. Three Chibi Piazza Bird. Two Momo. Three Unicorn. Two Squonk. One Enfield Monster. And one at Growth out of seven boxes. 28 packs. I, don't know, I didn't I didn't do the math beforehand, but I thought our odds of completing the set would be pretty decent. But still, I can't complain with these polls at all. I'm looking at all these hollows in particular, and they're just so gorgeous. And I love my Piazza Bird. So thank you for watching. We've got a ton of MetaZoo content on this channel if you are not subscribed. And if you haven't watched any of those, you can go and watch them. We've done uh, base set booster boxes, nightfall booster boxes, spell books, promo boxes, pin boxes. A lot of content to go check out. So I'd appreciate it if you enjoy us as personalities and our content. But that is it for now. We're leaving the mat. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please click like to let us know. It does help us out. And hit that subscribe button for more content like this. I've been Dio with Mythic Multiplayer, and I'll see you in the next one.